Hello and welcome to the tutorial where I'm going to show you how to draw stereograms using Microsoft Paint. We want to draw two images for two eyes, one for the left and one for the right eye, from different perspectives. All we need to draw a tunnel is a square and some lines. First of all, begin with a square. My color will be black. First of all, draw a square. After that, we need some horizon points. That's what I call them. That's the point where all the lines will meet. We'll need two of them. And what you have to do now is to drag your horizon point into the square. But don't drag the point, drag the square so it is above. Make sure you have this one selected. So now you have set up your horizon point. It doesn't really matter where to put it. At this point you have to think about how your tunnel will look like. My tunnel will have lines which go from the borders into the horizon point and two lines in the center of the road. So I have my red color selected. The red color is for the things which will be deleted afterwards. I have my red color selected. I draw two lines for the two center lines of the road. Just put them here but make sure you don't move the lines because it will be above the image. Make sure your original image is above. So now copy this by pressing Control C and paste it again by pressing Control V. Now you can drag your new image to the right horizon point. The right horizon point has to be just next to the left horizon point. Don't move it too far because it will be very difficult to see. I will let it like this. Well then start to draw lines. Make sure you have the black color selected again and draw all the lines from the corners to your horizon point. You can see that on the right image I used the right horizon point and just ignored the left one. So that's it and now I want to draw the center lines and I am going to draw them in a different color because afterwards I want them to be white. I will use blue now. And just make the same with your lines. And the last one to the right horizon point. You can actually choose where you want your lines to begin. It just has to be on the same position on the left and on the right image. When I drag them, you can see that everything is the same except the lines. And that has to be so. Now you have your two images and now you have to get rid of those red lines. And therefore, take your eraser Make it bigger by pressing Ctrl plus if you want. And then as your foreground color, select the color you want to delete. It will be red. And as your background color, select the color you want to replace it with. And now right click and start to delete the red lines. And now it's time for color. 
my walls will be blue my top will be yellow and the street will be gray and do the same on the right image so now it really looks like a tunnel and I'm gonna zoom in here because you can see some white dots which weren't colored just take your fill tool again and fill them and the same here so that's it and now we want to replace our blue lines with white ones take your eraser tool again take the blue color as the foreground color and the white color as your background color right click and replace now it's time for some details look at this there's white point in the center and white points down here and I want them to be black so I take my pen choose the black color and simply and simply draw the little points I want to be black so that's it now you have your stereogram image now move them next to each other this is a parallel stereogram image. You can actually do a cross eye too if you move your image for the right eye to the left. I like to use parallels because it's for me easier to see them. So that's it, you're done now. Please rate and comment. Don't forget to subscribe because later I will post some improved and better and more interesting images of stereograms. Thank you for watching, have fun to experiment and to create your own ones.